Good evening all. Simon here. Right, this is a bit of a test for my Hobby King 401B Syro. Now for some reason this Syro has never performed quite as well as the one on my GT. So, uh, what I've done is I've done Rob's hot glue fix and uh, I've filled it completely with hot glue. Uh, it still drifts a bit right. Um, let me point it at that tree with the bird box on. There we go. Right, no rudder for a bit. Although, as you can see, it slowly drifts right. Which is a shame. I'll try bump it up the gain. Ah. Well, it's not a very good evening for flying. It's cold, dull, windy. I think rain is imminent. So all it's good for really is a bit of nose in practice which can be challenging with this helicopter because it's so responsive on the sticks. Right. Hi to everybody. Hi to Rob, uh, Peter, Brian, uh, Hawking, Jeff, George, Sean, Edmund. Uh, let's have a think. Kevin. Hmm. Okay, well it's still nice and smooth in its low speed responses, but there's uh, a little bit of the dreaded DVR. Yeah, that's nice and smooth. Piro rate. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, shame about that drift. Other than the drift, it's quite a steady tail despite the wind in that it's not, you see them wagging a little, can't you? Hmm. Some sudden gust caught it then. Right, let's bump up the gain a couple of notches. Just bear with me. Right. Now, can we see that? Probably not. Menu. Okay, and let's reinitialize the gyro. Let's see what we've got there. That's the gain up a couple of percent. 
Watch out, Anna. There we go. <laughs> Okay, let's point it at the tree with the... No, it's no difference, it's still drift. Probably not as much. Get out of the nosing because the wind's gusting. See a battery indicator light on. Oh, unscheduled landing. Okay, thanks for watching all.